Hi everyone, welcome to my Bikini Body Mommy Challenge. Check in on day 45. So, for my weight loss, I can like drop the drum roll here, but um, I've only lost one pound in 45 days. Yes, that just sucks. Um, basically, I've been doing all the exercises, I've been following the meal plan, and I have lost one pound. And I didn't cheat that much, like, for me, like, food-wise, I may have eaten a little bit more, like, I snacked a little bit, or I ate a different meal when I was out and about, and it's supposed to, like, cover, like, two meals a week that you're not eating according to schedule. Didn't work for me. Like, I maybe once or twice had uh, something that wasn't part of the meal plan, and I was actually with a lot more carbs. And I, there's been days where it was like a, a muscle day, like she posts on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, she posts exercises and then on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday is cardio day and Sunday is rest day. Nine out of ten Sundays, I went for a run. And there were days where there were like, there was like a structured exercise video up on her channel, like on a Wednesday. And I would still go on a run, and then later on, we'll do the exercise routine. So I've exercised more than she should be, uh, than she advised, even though I, and I didn't eat that much more during my meals, like, and I only lost one pound. The good news is I do have a healthy BMI right now. My BMI last time was 25.3, right now it is 24.9. So I'm officially no longer called obese or overweight or whatever. The other good news is that I did lose some inches. Um, I don't really think you can like tell in the pictures, which I'll probably put in the end of this video. But um, basically on my chest, my waist, my narrowest part of my hips and my arms, I've lost half an inch. And on my widest part of my hips, I lost one whole inch. And on my thighs, I've lost nothing, which I don't really get how, but... Um, that's what it is. So I did lose a few inches in total, like one, two, three. I lost four inches body-wise in total. It's not what I was hoping for, but we're definitely still going strong. And uh, I do feel a lot fitter. And I can tell like with my fitness uh, test, what I got on day one and what I got on day 45 is a huge difference. Like I got so much, I'm in such better shape right now. Like maybe not to the eye, but definitely like for my health, that's good. Um, the other positive thing that I really love about this challenge is the workouts. She makes it really easy for you to follow. Like I mentioned, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you have a structured exercise routine. And those do not last longer than 20 minutes. So you can make sure to do, like, usually I do them either during a nap time or when Logan is fast asleep at, at the night. And I just do the 20 minutes and it feels really good. I'm kind of sweaty, like, yeah, I get a good workout in. And on all the other days, you can choose a high intensity interval training or you can go for a cardio, um, like 45 minute cardio. Now, lately I've been addicted to going on runs and I run like a little bit of a, like 5K. I'm trying to like better my time at it because I can run 5K, but it will be like 37, 38 minutes, which is not good enough to even race. So I should really work on that. Um, but once, I, like, I can only run if Rob's at home working, and lately he's been out a lot, like this week, I haven't had my running yet, and it's Saturday, so I don't know if I'm going to, probably I'm going to run tomorrow, but it's just one run and not three, like I really want to. Um, so, it, on the days I cannot go on a run because Rob is not home, and uh, I cannot leave Logan in his bed when I'm going out. Um, I actually do a high intensity interval training and she has like a, a structured video on that, like day three is a structured video on what exercises you can do, cardio exercises you can do as a high intensity interval training or um, you can do something else. I usually choose for jump rope and that means like a minute of jump rope, a minute of rest and you do that for 20 minutes in total. So you have 10 minutes of jump roping, 10 minutes of rest in between and that makes me feel like really good about myself. 
So I love the exercises. I love how it makes me feel. I can definitely uh, feel my clothes being looser, even though I've only lost like a few inches. And um, like I can feel like I'm tightening up. So I also really like the meal plans. Um, there's only been like three meals that I do not like, uh, like taste-wise. Um, like they're not even that they weren't gross or anything. It's just like mm, it's not really like what I was hoping for. Um, the only downside to the whole meal plan is that it takes a lot of work. Like most meals take you about half an hour just to prepare the food, like cutting the onion, cutting the bell peppers, cutting everything. It's a lot of like preparing for the meal um which is you know i found a way to do it like around dinner time like i do it in logan's last nap and then i find a way that he gets entertained while i cook it uh, and during lunch it's not that bad because you use the, the, um, the leftovers from the day before and in the morning yeah i just i found a way to deal with it but it's not like ideal it's my only like downside to the entire meal plan but I do love it. It gives me a lot of inspiration, like how I can move on after this 90 day challenge because it's supposed to be a lifestyle and not just 90 days. The only but that I'm actually having on this whole challenge is that I've only lost one pound. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to leave the meal plan a little bit more and I'm actually buying weight care products, which is kind of uh, like their meal supplements, like uh, protein shakes and protein bars. And um, they have all these other products that are protein based, low carbs. Um, it's not the healthiest, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Um, but it has always helped me lose weight. I've done it, I think, like three times right now. I even did it to jumpstart my pre pregnancy weight loss uh, challenge thing, I guess. I, I did it like when we tried to conceive Logan. Um, I had about a half a year before like getting off the pill and we weren't trying uh, to conceive. In that half year, I used like a month of the weight care products and then the rest I did with basically just eating like, like I did with the meal plan and um, exercising regularly. So that's kind of what I feel like I should be doing right now. I have three to four months um, at least for my body to be back in shape before we want to start TTC, if you want to know what the heck that was. I will post a video later on explaining um, baby number two. But I really want to lose at least five more pounds so I'm back up to my pre-pregnancy weight. And ideally I will lose 20 pounds in total to be like the best shape ever. That, I might not make that in three months. I'm really sure that I won't. But with the weight care, I definitely think I can make a good dent in those 20 pounds. Uh, like I mentioned, I did it three times before. Every single time I lose at least 10 pounds within like 20 days or 21 days. And then I kind of like slowly wean myself off the shakes and protein bars and go back into healthy dieting or healthy eating again. And I usually gain like three to four pounds at that point. Um, but that's not really an issue for me. Um, after those three, four pounds, I slowly start losing the weight again. So I really feel comfortable. If you want to know what I purchased, um, I will post a video, um, like the shades and everything, and show you guys um, the unboxing because I, I ordered it. And uh, hopefully, I will start losing some weight because it's so frustrating after 45 days to only see that you've lost one whole pound. Um, at the end of this video, I will put a slide up to see my before and. and my day one pictures and my day 45 pictures. I will leave all my measurements in the uh, in the description box down below, as well as the results of my fit test. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, I'll leave those in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Good, right? It's good, right? And we also test out his new bobby. <laughs>